So the latest information we have now is that a one-metre tsunami has come ashore on the coast of Miyagi Prefecture, which is exactly the same area that was hit very badly back in March 2011. Uh, the uh, tsunami hit close to a place called Ishinomaki, which was almost totally destroyed in the 2011 earthquake. Uh, there are no reports at the moment of any damage. Uh, of course, a one-metre tsunami is much, much smaller than the one that hit back in 2011, which was between 10 and 11 metres. Uh, but it's still, you know, big enough uh, to cause flooding and potentially cause damage. And Rupert, a concern, of course, for many Japanese citizens will be nuclear safety because the meltdown at that plant uh, last year is very raw in everyone's memory. It is, and it's interesting that the company that runs the Fukushima nuclear plant, uh, Tokyo Electric, has been very, very quick this evening to put out a statement saying that the plant is unaffected by the tsunami or the earthquake and that work there to stabilize the reactors after they melted down uh, is going on as, as normal and that it hasn't been stopped by this event. And so at this point, Rupert, we know earthquake nearly an hour, just about an hour ago, uh, now the tsunami, uh, what reports of any damage or casualties? So at the moment, there are no reports of either, uh, but there are large parts of the northeast coast of Japan, which, because immediately after the earthquake struck this evening, uh, they began evacuating from. I mean, it was really interesting to hear the broadcasts on Japanese radio and television immediately after the earthquake struck, telling people uh, in very, very strong terms, leave your homes, get to high ground, remember what happened 18 months ago. So this is a big, I think, a big change since 2011. That event is still very, very strongly burned burned into people's memories here. It was a deeply traumatic event, not just for the people of northeast Japan, but for the whole country. And uh, people are a little bit on edge now, even 18 months later, for any event like this. Rupert, thanks very much.